Once again, we are looking at a system of three equations and three unknowns. The difference with this and the previous example that we, or triad exercise that we went over in the last video, is that with each of these equations, we only have two variables present. So the process is similar, but it's a little bit different because when we eliminate one variable, we add in the other variable to the, the resulting equation. Uh, but it all works out in the end with the process is the same eliminate a variable then eliminate another variable uh, and solve for one of the variables in doing so so you can choose any two equations that you want I'm going to use uh, the first and third equations and eliminate the x variable so we have 3x I'm gonna go ahead and put in a 0y you can just skip that space or a, not even put a space in there as long as you do the the calculations correctly but I always put a zero where there isn't a variable so and then minus 4z equals negative 1 and then 2x plus 3y plus 0z equals 6 so now we need to know how do we eliminate the x variable and we we had to choose uh, two equations that, that have the same variable to eliminate and if you'll notice when we do these calculations it's going to introduce y into the resulting equation uh, e even though it wasn't in one of our original equations but to eliminate x we need the the least common multiple uh, or any common multiple but we use the least common multiple of 3 and 2 which is going to be 6 so we multiply this first equation by 2 and we multiply the second equation by 3 that gives us 6x plus 0y minus 8z equals negative 2 and then distributing the 3 we have 6x plus 9y plus 0z equals 18. Now we could just subtract these, but what I like doing is in subtracting, I write it out with it on the outside of the parentheses and then I change it to a plus and change the sign of everything on the inside. The 0z doesn't matter if it's plus or minus, but we can go ahead and change it to a minus and then negative 18 and now we can just add them and this way I know the sign is the same I don't have to worry about changing each individual one as I'm subtracting uh, I, I can go ahead and just add so 6x minus 6x 6x or 6x plus negative 6x x is 0 and then 0y minus 9y is negative 9y negative 8z uh, plus or minus 0z is just negative 8z so minus 8z and then we have negative 2 plus negative 18 is negative 20 so now we have an equation with y and z and if you will look our second equation up here it also has y and z so if we use that now we have 2y plus 3z equals 2 and we can eliminate either variable y or z I'm going to use y just because it's first in the equations so we need the least common multiple of 9 and 2 which is going to be 18 so we'll multiply this first equation by 2 the second equation by 9 we end up with negative 18 y minus 16 z equals negative 40 and then 18 y plus 27 z equals 18 so the y's cancel we end up with negative 16 z plus 27 z is 11 z equals negative 40 plus 18 is negative 22 dividing both sides by 11 we get z equals negative 2 so now we'll go ahead and 
we'll substitute this into uh, one of our equations that only involves x and z to find x and then we can either use what we find for x with x and y or we can use uh, z again with the equation that contains only y and z so we'll go ahead and let's use 3x minus 4z equals negative 1 so I'll go ahead and write that out 3x minus 4z equals negative 1 we substitute what we solve for z z equals negative 2 so 3x minus 4 times negative 2 equals negative 1 that gives us 3x plus 8 equals negative 1 subtract 8 from both sides we get 3x equals negative 9 divide both sides by 3 and we get x equals negative 3 so now we have x equals negative 3 z equals negative 2 so now we'll go ahead and we'll solve for y uh, using a similar method we could use you know x equals negative 3 and use the third equation or we could use z equals negative 2 and use the second equation and we'll be doing this all when we check anyways so it doesn't matter which equation we use uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and let's stick with z our original solution so 2y plus 3z equals 2 substitute z equals negative 2 so 2y minus 6 equals 2 add 6 to both sides we get 2y equals 8 and then dividing both sides by 2 we get y equals 4 so we have our tentative solution as an ordered triple is going to be negative 3 4 negative 2 and now we'll go back to the methods from the first part of this lesson and we'll check our solution by substituting into all three equations so we, we want to know let's use our first equation 3x minus 4z equals negative 1 so 3 times negative 3 minus 4 times negative 2 we want to know does that equal negative 1 so negative 9 plus 8 does that equal negative 1 and we do end up with negative 1 equals negative 1 so it checks in our first equation now what about our second equation 2y plus 3z equals 2 so 2 times 4 plus 3 times negative 2 we want to know does that equal 2 8 minus 6 does that equal 2 and yes it does 2 equals 2 so it checks in our second equation and then our third equation 2x plus 3y equals 6 so 2 times negative 3 plus 3 times 4 we want to know does that equal 6 so negative 6 plus 12 and yes it does check 6 equals 6 so we've checked our ordered triple our solution in all three equations and it worked and therefore we know our answer is correct x equals negative 3 y equals 4 and z equals negative 2